dress code to the principal's office. What are you in here for? I was dress coded for wearing leggings. Well, don't you know that modest is hottest? <laughs> no, I did not know that modest was hottest. But what I do know is that because of men like you, <sighs> girls are made to believe that what they wear determines their self-worth. Because of men like you, girls are made to feel inferior to the girls that actually cover up. Because of men like you, Because of men like you, women are made to feel that they cannot be loved or admired because they are wearing t pants too tight or shirts too short. Because of men like you, women are made to feel that they need to cover up in order to attract boys. Well, sir, didn't you know that we don't live to satisfy the eyes of the male society? Oh, no, wait. You're taking this way out of proportion. How can I not take it out of proportion when young girls are made to feel that they are not worth anything because of their appearance? How can I not blow this out of proportion when men like you are ordering women around and telling them what they should do just to satisfy you? The day I will not blow this out of proportion is the day that girls can feel what they want without feeling ashamed. Can wear what they want without feeling ashamed. The day I will not blow this out of proportion is the day that girls don't worry about men saying that she was asking for it. The day I will not blow this out of proportion is when... The day I will not blow this out of proportion is when men like you worry about things that actually matter rather than worrying about women's apparel. Because there are children in school overdosing on oxycoding, students failing their classes because of overpiling homework, students stressing over so many things, and you decide to worry about women's apparel and what we should wear just to please your eyes. Well, I have news for you. We don't live for that. <laughs> 